your GCSE maths will never be the same after you find out this tip. You know that one type of GCSE maths question that always trips people up? I used to waste so much time on these until I figured this one thing out. Here's what changed everything for me. So let's take this example. We've got 3.2 times 10 to the 5 divided by 8 times 10 to the 2. You type this into your calculator, what do you get? You get 400. That's the wrong answer. Or you have students typing it into their calculator, forgetting to put all of the brackets in. What answer do you get? An even wilder answer with a heck of a lot of zeros. Another thing that students do is they just add these powers. So 10 plus 5 plus 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 7. When in actual fact, that's not what you want to be doing in this question. The other thing people do is they divide these two together. So 3.2 divided by 8, they get 0.4, and they don't realize they actually have to change that to get the marks in the answer. To make this super duper easy, what you want to do is you want to split the question into 3.2 divided by 8 equals 0.4. Four. Then 10 to the 5 divided by 10 to the 2, so that's going to be 10 to the 5 minus 2, which equals 10 to the power of 3. Then we multiply them together, so we get 0 0.4 times 10 to the 3. We're not done just yet, just like I told you about the mistake the kids always make. We need to change this, so we need to move this one spot to the right. One spot to the right means this power goes down. One spot to the left means this power goes up. So in this case, we get 4 times 10 to the 2. How many seconds did it take me to do that? And that's literally all it takes. And no one ever tells you to do it this simply. If that just saved you stress, I've got way more of this stuff coming. Hit follow so your future self doesn't miss out.